What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you to improve your mental health. So I've been doing recaps of all the Shane Dawson videos, um, pulling in different mental health topics to try to help you improve your mental health. Like, what can we relate to? What can we do? Like, do I have friendships like this? Um, I've talked about families. I've talked about toxic relationships, all sorts of stuff. So make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So I am live streaming right now on Twitch. You are watching the replay. But um, if you're new here, I pause, I comment and stuff. So this 40 minute long video might end up being an hour, but I appreciate you hanging out with me. Let's watch some enemies of Jake Paul. Oh, wait, this is 50 minutes. Ooh. Um, hold on. I need to get my notebook. I need to get my notebook. I did the same thing last time. Hold on. I'll be right back. All right, everybody, notebook in hand, let's get started. Horsford's got a problem paying his bills, but Horsford's got no problem making you pay more. All right, Voting chat, for higher sales for taxes me. and payroll taxes. I know, right? Oh, Stephen pickles Horsford's back, what's got up? got a problem paying his bills, but no problem making okay. you pay more. Pen ready. Okay, so by the way, discussion of pers personality, oh, nice disclaimer. Personality disorders, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. Oh, wait, unless he's just talking about sociopath and narcissistic. Um, but I'm interested to see how this goes because Shane's tweet last night where he's like, fuck this, I'm doing, I'm going crazy, I'm spilling all the tea, get your, uh, your mops ready. Like, let's see. Having uh, a mini it. panic attack over the fact that Jake Paul's left him an answer machine message. Oh, what is I the big deal? I'm shaking. I'm like, what? I mean, you're an overreactor, mate. There's not enough to I'm bored of the content. Uh, not bored of the no. series. I almost don't even know how to explain it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, because you never see a video like this again. Let's do it! I just don't understand how someone could do that to someone. I really, I don't. I promise myself I wouldn't cry, and I don't want to cry. Ugh. Look at Shane. Shane's, Shane's losing it. For you, but we have to find a quiet place because Rylan is outside doing a brand deal. Are you still filming? Yeah. Okay. Let's... I'm telling my girlfriend and her friend, I'm like, that intro was everything. Alright. After days and days of trying to convince him. Oh. Nick Crompton. Is in. You know it's Nick Crompton and my collar stay popping. <laughs> I have been trying to get this motherfucker to say yes to the interview for literally a week. Now the reason it was so important for me to interview Nick Crompton is because he was with Jake since the very beginning. He knows Jake very, very well on and off camera. He knows the business side of things. He worked with Team 10. This whole thing was very personal to him. You know, like this was his life, you know, managing Team 10, friends with Jake. So I understand why he's been so apprehensive. And this to me just proves like what kind of person he is, right? He said, <laughs> I don't know how to do the accent. Oh, God. <laughs> He's got a very specific accent. It's not just like the cliche British accent. It's like when my lost stop you get crazy. Oh my god! <laughs> I'll just do normal. He said, <laughs> when my life started getting crazy with all the attention and the money, etc., I started typing up all my core values and beliefs in my notepad, 
so I never lost myself or did something that I would regret. In those notes, there's a sentence that says, I'll never publicly talk about the personal lives of others, as I expect the same from people closest to me. I guess I could try to do this if Jake knows 100% that I'm doing it. I don't want him to think I'm going behind his back, and I don't want anybody to think that I'm talking about them for publicity. Wow. Yeah. That's wild. I know. He it's... wrote that down. I never want to talk about somebody. That's... I know. I just love him. So that meant I had to go to Jake. <laughs> So I basically said, Jake, listen, I want to interview Nick, I trust him, I think I need to interview the other side. And he was like, 100%, I agree, yes, it's a yes. There are conditions though. So I wanted to obviously interview Nick at his place, um, and he was like, I'm so sorry, like I can't. I have so many issues right now with privacy and like PTSD from the whole Team 10 situation. <laughs> I mean, there was literally like PTSD? hundreds of kids outside of their house 24-7. <laughs> he sent me an address for a house that is a business he's working on. I don't know. It It's confusing and I don't understand it, but it's a mansion. And uh, we're going. We're not allowed to show the outside. I don't know why. There's a lot of secrecy with this whole situation. What, what have you been up to? Everything I'm doing is still secret. Why am I nervous? I'm nervous. Yeah, I'm kind of a little nervous too. I guess, uh, let's go to England. My favorite city. Jesus. <laughs> 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 uh, Jake Paul. I'm <laughs> intimidated. <laughs> uh, no, I'm curious because when I first met you, I asked you, like, oh, do you watch YouTube? And you were like, oh, well, I mean, I watch, like, you know, Logan Paul, and, like, kind of that's it. And I remember literally going, ew. <laughs> <laughs> Which is just yeah, mental. I wasn't, like, an everydayer. I was an everyday girl. But I would watch occasionally, because I was like, oh, how fun is that? They all live in, like, a house of YouTubers. Like, little did I know. Who's the best YouTuber? You, you. Who's the best YouTuber? <laughs> Do you know any of the bad stuff Jake has done? Like, have you kept up with any of it? The only bad video I've ever watched about Jake is the one, like, that Alyssa Violet made. He dragged me down the stairs. This scar right here. But also, who knows, like, what that situation is. Alyssa Violet and Jake broke up because there was some, a lot of abuse. Listen, we gotta clarify that because it's a huge word. Verbal, Verbal and just verbal. mental stuff. Okay. So what's, like, one question that you think I should ask him? One question for Jake Paul. <laughs> this is a bad question. What? You're like, this is not serious. I want to know if Jericho's real or not. I've heard that it's fake. So, mm -hmm. I've heard from sources that it's not real. Really? Sources? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sources? Where, can I have them? <laughs> Twitter. Let me know if Jericho's real. Yeah, well, one Wait, who's your favorite team tender? <laughs> 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 And her vlogs are actually pretty good. Zero to a million subs real quick. Interesting. I'm Erica Costa. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, bye. I don't even know who this What's is. What's up, Costellers? Make sure you get some of this goat merch before it sells out. The two-piece matching collection is my absolute favorite. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. It just says goat. <laughs> What did she do? Hi! I stand. She's a goat. Greatest of all time. Oh. Woo! I stand. I told you. Alright, what's up to the next one? <laughs> oh, look at that doggy. Yeah. <laughs> voted for a 1.9 million dollar if you guys are wondering about the nevada candidates you're gonna see it in these ads deals for friends people do not like this this black guy at its worst
Disney movie? Or <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's time for my Adderall. Sorry. Fuck. Don't want to forget. Ooh, Shane takes Adderall? You forget. What am I? <laughs> I'm gonna write that down. I don't know why. Uh, you Shane? Madeline. Nice to meet you. Do you mind if I film? Oh yeah, no problem. Oh, okay. uh, I'll bring you over here. We're not allowed to say yet. Oh no! Um, so she lives here. I'm her assistant. The yeah, owner. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. So, Along with a few other influencers. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Nice, it's a nice little place. Too much white furniture, like I don't know. I don't I don't like white furniture. I'm too messy, I think. That's such a big table. I know, right? <laughs> Who's it for? These these houses are really built for influencers, so I don't have one of them. <laughs> <laughs> we can go for any time. Okay. <laughs> on that couch too. I'd be like, no, I'm just gonna stand. I'm gonna stand, it's cool. This is so cinematic. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. I was gonna sit to say hi to you. Hey, how are you doing, brother? Oh, do you like it? This is, what is this? This is crazy. Wow, there's a fridge out here. There's two of us. There's other places we can film. I just, I like being outside. Same. If outside is this. However, <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. <laughs> this is so weird because we've never like done this before. No, this is, and especially I've been watching all of these things. When I'm at home and I'm like seeing the tweets when you post these videos, like everyone talks about it. The reason you're going to see more and more of Jake Paul is it appears that all he is right. the focus of the next Shane Dawson documentary Here series. We go. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of very. No. So, how did Jake even find you? So, back in the UK, I built a marketing agency with like six other people and it did really well. I ended up coming out here and helping Jake build Team 10. I still don't think I understand how insane the whole thing was and what it must have been like to be in Team 10 with all the people outside. With hundreds of millions of views on a music video, you're a meme, you're everywhere. What is that? What is, what is that? And like, that's not what you probably signed up for. <laughs> no, okay, no. You know it's Nick Crompton and my color stay fucking. Is that why you were nervous to do this? Or why it's taken a while for you to say yeah? Talking about how I feel and what's going in my head and talking about someone else's personal life is, not something I'm comfortable with, but Jake said it was fine, so we're here. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, just like, <laughs> looks so look like iconic. <laughs> that was good. Okay, what was it like living in the Team 10 house? <laughs> Did you actually live in it? Yeah. Like you slept there? Mm -hmm. What was that like? I guess Team 10 was like my college experience. <laughs> oh, the closest college. thing that I'm gonna get to it because I didn't go. Right. It was a bunch of people living together, just having fun. But we were making money at the same time and it was a business. Hmm. Was it as chaotic as people make it out to be. No. If it was, what? I wouldn't have lived there. Right. What? Like, I can't deal with that. Because one thing I did hear about from somebody was some of the pranks, like the bigger, crazier pranks, um, were planned. Okay. <laughs> Jake is going to have to tell me the truth. That's the whole thing. Jake said he swore to God he would be super honest with me when it came to everything. So when I asked him that, and I'm like, were some of the pranks fake? Like breaking down walls, and like doing crazy things. Good like, morning! Like, like, was, was that all planned? If he says, no, it was real, I'm gonna be like, you're a liar, and I'm gonna leave. So... <laughs> Dang! Um, if, if that the really boundaries. what you're gonna do? What? What you just said, you, if he says that it's not, you're just gonna walk out? Yeah, if he lies to me about anything, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> okay. I don't this know, is Shane. like the... I, I feel like it'll, it fixes a lot of problems, especially some of the big problems where people just think something that's not true. You couldn't breathe? No. I feel like pretty much everyone that's a little bit older knows that it's all fake. It's all over! It's just difficult to say that the fake when there's still loads of young kids watching and enjoying it, and I don't know if I don't Kids still watch want to be responsible for ruining that whole thing. We have 15 tasers. Oh my gosh. We're going to chase Nate. I have these. Okay. Chase Nate. Okay, ready? You know you what I mean? You don't want to say Santa Claus is fake. He's going to die. He's right. going to die. Santa Claus. Yes, I don't want to be in that scenario where I just say to a bunch of kids, like, everything you've been watching isn't real. Hey, Nick. <laughs> I mean, okay. Well, I'd say, like, for example, there's this video, right? A uh, paparazzi is filming you guys, and you guys are filming a Jake Paul video. And you can see moments when the camera turns off where Jake is just kind of, like, standing there and not really knowing what to do, and then he talks to you guys, and then he, like, throws something off your desk. You don't feel shit. And then the camera cuts, and then, like, I think Erica picks it up, and then you figure it out. And then he films again. So, but then when you watch the actual video, he looks crazy. If you are ready to happen already, he's like throwing things and yeah. acting crazy, or whatever. Nipple plunge. What? So it was interesting because I'm like, oh, Jake Paul, let's let's flip and do that. All right, cool guys. This this is not safe. If all of this is planned, if like destroying someone's room is planned, if handcuffing people to beds or whatever is planned. No, I'll take. <laughs> Jake, no. If pushing people down in stores and doing all that kind of stuff is planned. That's how we're gonna wake everyone up. Then it kind of changes my opinion a little bit. Because <laughs> it makes him look less like impulsive and crazy. What the hell are you doing? Good morning, honey. And more like, uh, this will be funny, right? If I break this thing and throw this thing and do this thing. I guess I'm talking about those ones. Yeah. Like, what's the biggest one? Like, he destroyed a kid's room or something? That was yeah. Thing. I mean, that whole thing. Stephen Horsford. Ah, Shane making that ad money. But Horsford got no your gangster, problem Shane. making you pay more. Voting for gangster. higher sales taxes and payroll taxes. I just hate all these. Stephen Horsford's ads. got a problem paying his bills, but no problem making you pay more. Non-skippable. Non-skippable. I've never talked about this, but we're on the topic. I was super close to the Martinez twins, as was Jake, and as was everyone on Team 10, like it was super fun, and we all loved each other, and then all of a sudden, they came out with this video. Yo, what's up guys, we're the Martinez twins. Saying that we were bullying them. You bully us for like eight months, now it's our time, and I'm sorry Jake, I'm so sorry because of this. <sighs> Using examples from Jake's vlogs, like him being handcuffed to a bed or something for 
a day or whatever it was. We were in a room, so he stopped prank us every single day. Like we felt so bad. Like we there felt is just so like bad. there is just like not real. Like oh, it's, it's so strange to say that. I don't because we trust Nick. We trust Nick. Was it the twins where their bedroom was destroyed and good bye Martinez room? <laughs> and they were saying in the video like, oh, he destroyed our room. Like he destroyed our room. And we didn't know. Like why? I was like, like, like what, what the hell are you doing? It's every day, bro. They did know. It wasn't even a room. It was a fake room that we built. We actually made that the room in one day. Yeah, in one day. Like they went to Home Depot. We bought everything. We built it. And like we made them a fake room in the living room, and then destroyed it. You built it to destroy it, basically. Yeah. Ooh, this is fun, man. And if Jake had have just said that, or if anyone had have just said the pranks are fake, that would have debunked everything the Martinez twins were doing. Do I think the Martinez twins were bullied? No. Do I think that they probably got annoyed by the pranks? Hell yeah, like we all did. Oh my god! Hold it, hold it up. I did say that was gonna happen. You did. Wait. But it wasn't ever a threatening situation to be in. Yo, you almost died, dude. I was dumb, right? No, bro. Yeah. It's not dumb. And if it was to them, they could have said something. But they never did. In the real though, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. All right, that was dope, right? Yeah, that was you, dope. You want to do it again Shout tomorrow? Shout out to Martinez Twins. Hey, <laughs> hey, you got a plug. Not once ever did I see oh, them the seem upset or unhappy. Ugh, things were so bad at the Team 10 house. Why did they come back so many times? All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, yeah, because it's every day, it's bro. It's every day, okay. bro. Like everything that they were accusing Jake of doing in Team 10, we're sitting back like, we're just gonna take this one. And I've never have seen anyone talk poorly of the Martinez twins. When you do so much for someone and they just stab you in the back like that, like it just takes a toll on you emotionally. It's like a joke, um, but uh, like the situation actually like really affected me. Like I, I'm just gonna pause real quick. Like some of the stuff. Okay, so the pranks and stuff. I don't know if Shane's gonna talk about it, but like I think some of the flack that Jake was getting was like some of it was like borderline like racist stuff. Like that, and that stuff was like caught on camera. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, but I don't know. I don't know. That's an interesting, that's an interesting topic in and of itself. Like, if they're like, yeah, cool, call us, you know, whatever for comedy, or you know, I don't, I don't know. That that's a whole another rabbit hole in and of itself. And every time something happens, it's like we don't want to tell everyone that everything's fake. <laughs> So we just keep taking these hits. Bye, Tessa. And why is Jake afraid of just saying that? Like, it's just fake. She's such a good sport. Like, I love you, Tessa. Because are those kids gonna watch still if they believe that, or if they know that none of it's real? Yeah. Like, there is kids that watch and that understand that the clowns are not real. <laughs> Obviously. Are you still filming? Yeah. But at the same time, there are very young kids watching that shouldn't be seeing and believing that Jake and Erica are really getting kidnapped. Like, that's wrong. And who is your audience? Who do you make your videos for? Yeah, my audience is uh, definitely younger. Yeah, Nerd City's, yeah, Nerd City's video about all this stuff um, is great. I, I'd say it's like eight years old. <laughs> so like 16 years old. Oh, I try to be as, as clean as possible. Oh. See, and that's, that's the thing too. Like people are like, I don't, like Shane's, I think Shane's maybe finally wrapping his head around that he's not going to be able to please everybody. <laughs> Look at this scene I frozen on. But like, yeah, like the editing, man, I just, it just makes me so upset. Like people are like, I don't know, it's people commentary on it. I think he did get over dramatic with episode two, but like, this is how you gotta do it. You gotta talk about something, right? And then you gotta give context for it. And that's what he's doing with Jake. Like they're talking about how he has a young audience and then they're giving context for how this is inappropriate for a young audience. Like I am so lucky and glad that my son wants nothing to do with the Paul brothers. He's nine years old, nine and a half. Um, like he's watched some of the, like their own Vine compilations, but that's about it. Now we just watch his Fortnite videos. <laughs> it, 
well. I hate clowns, so I can only imagine like what they're gonna feel like. That was fake. I don't think JK Press hates clowns. Side. Sometimes things get pretty hard. Yeah. Um, let's go inside for that. Oh, you ask him. Are you ask him about advice. <laughs> Take the sympathy and plug. It's like, you know what I mean. Get the empathy of the viewers. You're killing it. Thanks, man. Jake, you help us, and I want to say thank you for that. Sorry, what? <clears throat> Models. Mm -hmm. They're finishing up, but it might take like 15, 20 minutes to clean up, so we can go in the theater. <laughs> okay, yeah. Let's go to the movie theater. You guys can't see my house, but I'm like, I'm sure a lot of you do. Like, what the hell? See, kids, follow your dreams, do YouTube. Okay, we're in the movie theater, <laughs> which is kind of perfect um, because movies are fake. Yeah. There's a lot of things in Jake's life that people think is fake. Oh, now he's gonna ask. He's gonna ask Morgan's question. I spelled it wrong. She wasn't like cast to be his girlfriend? No. Will you be my girlfriend? There's no, I don't know why people have this like thought that Team 10 is cast. When I first met him, our relationship was completely business. Online, like Erica and I are dating. And you cast Erica to be Jake's girlfriend and that's her role, that's who she is. And I use all these thumbnails where I say she's my girlfriend. The stuff that we do is dramatized, but it's still real people. You can only pretend so much on the vlogs. I think it's very obvious when Jerica like started getting super, super real. Right now, from what I've seen, the new Team 10 members. It seems a little staged. I surround my neck, let my neck hurt. I mean, there's like this girl, Sunny, who's like a singer. Let me get my heart <laughs> Justin Roberts, who. It's like a little talent like agency, kind friend. of, right? Six figures, I was only four. Yeah. So much money, I can't do the floor. Wow, that song's bad. Damn. He was born rich, he went, he gonna die rich. I was born broke, I'm gonna die broke. I just, man, I'm about to start crying, man. Everything seems very much like maybe <laughs> these kids. I wish Shane would give credit to these smaller There's YouTubers no he way uses books from. Anyone would ever be signed to Team 10 because they bribed the way in. He would never accept someone if he thought they couldn't be something. Because then he's a failure. It's like he takes a percentage, right? Yeah. Twenty percent. That was like a big thing. Members leave Team 10, but I still collect their checks. Yeah. Every single one of them and that includes my ex. <laughs> And this is another thing, like, it's, that money doesn't go in Jake's pocket, as everyone likes to believe. It's not, it goes in Team 10's pocket. It's a business. Just like when you go to Starbucks and you pay for a coffee, you're not paying that money to the person giving you the coffee, it's going to the business. About Team 10, right? This video is about Team 10, right? Team 10, yeah. So, Team 10 is the company, yeah. and Jake is almost the face of it. Yeah, he fulfills the role of CEO. I'm the CEO, I'm the boss T-Rex. Like the Team 10 house. Yeah. That house they rented before Jake was even really popular. <clears throat> was somebody else paying for that? Original Team 10 house was rented and paid for by those investors. I'm Jake Paul, I'm a Snapchat creator and actor, and this is my home, come check it out. And uh, help cover the costs of paying staff. What the talent were making, the 20%, would go to Team 10 to be able to pay for the staff, to be able to provide that. So, the house. The biggest thing that happened was the address was leaked. Like, couldn't you Google Team 10 House and yeah. it would pop up? Yeah. Uh, another thing that people seem to believe is that Jake would leak his own address so people would come like... He apparently makes his address no secret. The neighbors hate me. Why would you want around 50 to 70, 80 people outside your house at all times? Hey, don't pound. Guys, don't pound. Knock. Knock is courteous. Oh, God. Jake definitely doesn't want that. None of us in the house wanted that. Teensy, the wall. Get a piece of it. Because as soon as you got the door, it's instant screaming from a bunch Like, there's been other videos. Like, I remember Jenna Marbles and Julian, well, mainly Julian, like, made a video about, like, don't come to our house. Like, man. But it's nuts, too, because these these parents, like, encourage their kids to do that. And, like, that's one of the reasons why I preach empathy. Like, Like, are you serious? Like, it's just... 
I don't know. There's so much just wrong and just the dehumanization of everybody. Everybody. Like, people are saying Shane, like, dehumanizes uh, sociopaths. But, like, people just dehumanize, like, celebrities in general. Um, but I don't know. I was talking. I was talking with my girlfriend about it once, too. Like, sometimes what it is is, uh, you know, celebrities or even influencers, they dehumanize themselves. Like, they they act like they've never just been a normal person in their lives, you know? So, they're creating more of a gap. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense. I was thinking about making a video on that after something happened. I forgot what it was. Bunch of people. Mm -hmm. And usually you have paparazzi filming, so whatever you do and say or don't say or don't do, like it's all recorded. When that's happening and you have all those people outside, you don't want to get pictures with them because that encourages everyone else to come as well. Mm -hmm. Can we keep moving? Keep it gentle, they make you famous. Remember, they give you paychecks, they make you famous, you stay gentle. But, if you don't get pictures with them, you look like an asshole. Yeah. Because you're ignoring the people that support you and enabling you to have the life that you're living. Mm -hmm. Remember, you guys make them famous, you guys give them paychecks. What is the answer to that? That situation? entitlement, though. We give them paychecks, we make them famous, tell them to be gentle. There's no way of rehiding the house. It wasn't our fault. There's no way we would want that. But the whole world thinks that we wanted to make a spectacle of ourselves, or Jake wanted to make a spectacle of himself. I think they it, did, I think it though. Was you can't expect this not to come when you're giving it out. No, I understand. I'm not an idiot. I'm not blind. Like, I see what everyone else sees in these videos. Mm -hmm. But what they don't see is what happens when the videos get turned off. Not many people get to see that side of Jake. Do people around him not think he's nice? People around him think he's nice. Yeah. Saying that makes people think like... That I must be some kind of dumbass. <laughs> oh, then he just comes to a commercial. <laughs> Sisolak voted for a $1.9 million construction contract. Then that firm gave his campaign $10,000. Deals for friends, donations for Sisolak, crony politics. Oh, Steve worse. Sisolak. Yeah. I must be really manipulated or just really dumb. Yeah. Like, I must be so dumb to be even talking about him nicely right now and giving him this redemption bullshit. But it isn't. This is all just the truth. <laughs> Surprise! He has done a lot of dumb stuff, and I'm not saying there's an excuse for that. I'm just saying there's a lot of things that people don't know, and the reason behind things, and yeah. So, you said Team 10 is real. When did it all start to fall apart? Like, what made everybody... Everybody just started leaving, kind of one by one by one. I love everyone here, and I have so much fun filming with everyone. And you guys need to understand that you're being manipulated, and I know for a fact I've been there, guys. It's me. In the beginning, there were different reasons for different people. Things for me started getting different when Greg Paul got involved. Are you okay? He's just... Wait, hold on. Did you say when Greg Paul? Wait. Got involved. Sorry, guys. different when Greg Paul got involved. Oh, okay. Here we go. Are you okay talking about this? Yeah. He's just... I don't know how to explain that, man. But he forced his way in. And somehow, I mean, in the beginning, he tried to get involved, and I'd talk to Jake, and and he'd come out, and it didn't work out, and he'd rub everyone up the wrong way, and just no one wanted him there, and then he ended up disappearing again, going back to Ohio. And it was like a cycle, like, Jake would get mad at him, and be like, you're fucking everything up, that, just go away. And then, I don't know, he came out again to, when we moved into the new house, and... I don't know, just managed to get some kind of authority and start making decisions and everything just started not being what it was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like it, I didn't like what was happening, so I left. My personal opinion, I've never met Jake's dad. Hey, how's it going? My dad. Hi, dad. But a parent working with their child in any 
case doesn't work. But it's probably hard to explain that to Jake because it literally is his dad. Yeah. So it's like, hey man, I don't think this is a good idea. And then he's probably just like, well, fuck you, that's my dad. Yeah, it was a constant fight between uh, me and Greg. He... I just don't like that guy. I... <laughs> um, show some shopping. <laughs> I don't want to like involve the family, right? Like I just wanted to do something about Jake. But if I'm doing something about the fall of Jake Paul and all the drama and the controversies, his dad is involved in a lot of it. The other day I ran into Greg Paul. Get the f*** out of my face. Go f*** yourself. You're a great father figure. Do I bring up his dad to him? Do I not even... I feel like I have to. Serious personal stuff, I believe, should never be on the internet. It should never be everyone's business. And so, Jit's done stupid stuff. And... People know about that, but what, whatever's happened between me and him is always going to stay between me and him. The only reason I'm here right now is because Jake said that I could talk about this stuff. Whatever Greg has or hasn't done. Yeah, Pickle, like, um, I don't know, that's, that's interesting. So, like, uh, Greg Steeling. Hold on one second, let me write down a note. Like, well, it's almost like... I don't know, like, I, I mentioned a little bit about sports parents, like, you know, Sh Shane was all surprised by it, but, like, that's what sports parents do, and a lot of sports parents are trying to live vicariously through their kids, so, you know, whatever successes they have or whatever they do, so, like, I don't know, maybe Greg Paul, like, saw their, their internet fame, and he's like, oh, okay, well, I'm gonna ride off of that since the sports thing didn't happen, I don't know. Should stay between whoever he has or hasn't done it to, so... Do you involve Greg? Do you not? Because this is about Jake and then you're involving someone else's life. Yeah. I don't know. And hey, do you like Jake too or just like I like Logan more. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Hear that, Jake? Um, okay. What happened to where you still haven't talked to Jake? So. Oh, here we go. I knew when I told him that I wanted to leave, he would want me to leave right then. He does take things very personally. Mm. And I think maybe someone like me leaving were hit him more than it has before. Mm. I tried to do it in the best way possible. But I think he was just too upset or angry to even listen. And it was just very abrupt with me. Um, and asked me to leave, so I left. And mm. I've texted him a few times on certain things. Um, I texted him just before the fight. That's the last time I texted him, just saying good luck, not that you need it. I still not heard anything back. And like I, why do you, why do you think he takes it so personally when somebody? I mean, has he like excommunicated himself from everybody that's left? What about like that chance and like? Oh, yeah. I guess so. That's how Team Ten unfortunately works, and I don't know how that happened. Or why the mindset was like that, but if someone leaves Team 10, it's like, well, you don't like us then, because it's not, it wasn't like just fully a business, it was, we were a family that lived together and we all loved each other, and if you didn't want to be in that, then you mustn't like us, and you must have something against us, and you, uh, something along those lines is the thought process. When people leave, it's like, you're not supposed to talk to them, because they fucked you up. So that's why I'm thinking in my head, does Jake think I fucked him over by leaving? Because that must mean I don't like him because I don't want to be there. That's like a cult. I think this is. <laughs> that's literally a cult. Yeah, kind of. Like, you're either with us or you're against us. When you leave, you disassociate. You don't talk to them. Like, but he blocked me. He wouldn't talk to me. Either. Here's, is he, does he do here's the thing. Communication from here's the thing. And maybe because I come from a 12-step background with my recovery... People use the word cult, like, way too much. Like, people use the word cult so, so much. Like, and I think that's where Shane's getting in trouble. Even though I know what he's saying, he's saying that aspect of it. That aspect of it is, like, this aspect of a cult, right? Like, he's not trying to, like, say Team 10's a cult, because cults are way more intense than, obviously, Team 10 is. But that aspect of te Team 10 is similar to the same aspect as a cult. Like, you are out, you are... Totally gone. <clears throat> I might write this down too. There's a show called The Path. If y'all like watching The Path, 
like um on uh hulu man i i'm like obsessed with like cult type stuff i don't know why it's just really fascinated really fascinating to me and what's interesting is you see like people following um influencers or celebrities blindly and like when i see that like I'll, I, i'll just never forget when logan paul made his apology video for what happened in japan and the forest and stuff like that when he made his apology video he told his audience don't defend me don't defend me i screwed up and like his audience was like screw you logan we're still defending you like what like what like that's what's crazy about our society and like i don't know i don't know man it's nuts Tessa and all the other people that mm-hmm. left. I mean, that's like a cool <laughs> Best family. A family. Family. We are family. And I don't know if he's leading it. Who should we bring on the team then? We're gonna have more people in the future? It's gonna grow? Or if his dad is leading it, or if him, his dad, and his brother are all leading it. But I, in my years on YouTube, have never seen a squad have a house, have rules, that was another thing, like he had a bunch of rules or something. People were like, he had a lot of rules. In the beginning, but they they were encouraging people to be better. It all feels very culty to me. It's a business, bro! It makes me sad that like sometimes I think to myself, Shane's like, getting what if he didn't give much. a fuck about me, actually? Like what if he just saw me as this person that was gonna help him run his business? And that when I chose to leave that. Like, oh, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Like, I wasn't actually his friend or anything like that. I don't know anything at this point. What you explained is sociopaths. What you said sounded like that. I, I don't think he is one. He shows too much emotion in everything that he does to be a sociopath. And I feel like I can read people very well. I know when someone's been fake and I know when someone isn't. And I can see, oh my God, I can see him. By the way, I've, I've seen so many people, like I've seen so many people like just swear to the heavens that they're really good at reading people and they are just getting epically screwed over. Like I'm not saying Nick, uh, Nick can't read people. I'm not saying that, but I just want to bring that up. I've seen so many people like, oh no, no, I would know. I would know if they were lying to me. And I'm like, no, dude, they're like straight up lying to you. You know, and that's where, that's why self-awareness is like so important. Like sometimes we're just like, no, I'm really good at this. And it's like, no, you're not that good at that. Um, Maybe Nick is, I don't know. I don't know. When things happen to him and he's hurt, I can see him trying to um, process what he's feeling, Mm -hmm. but he like has a hard time doing it. Like he looks confused as to like, why do I feel upset right now? Or why, why this mm. to himself? And I can see it in his face when, he's, when someone says something or something happens and he's thinking about the situation. I can see him, the confusion in his face of like, why, I'm just speculating, but why am I feeling like this right now? Um, I don't think he's a sociopath. Have you ever seen him cry? Oh. Yeah. You don't have to tell me what it was about, but what was the general, like, was it something that happened to him? Was it something that was like... It's something that happened to him, yeah. And was it not business related? No. Interesting. He has been fucked over by a lot of people. And I think a mixture between being fucked over by people just suddenly having all this success and fame and other factors. All right, Shane's <laughs> prediction. Shane's going to get backlash for this episode, sympathizing with Jake. Guarantee it. Maybe like his dad. Ooh, 100 um, followers on Twitch. What's that? <clears throat> yeah. The Alyssa situation with the ex-girlfriend. Um, Jake's kicking me out. <laughs> Yeah. I watched her video. It was both of our faults, really. He shouldn't have treated me like shit day after day and then expect everything to be okay. And I saw videos of him like spitting on her. Was okay. the Very thing about Logan like hooking up with Jake's Oh, And Lisa had sex with his older brother, Logan. How much of all of that is real? No, it's, it's very much real. 
So like, uh, oh, Jake's this is what my girlfriend was talking about. Hanging out with Jake's ex-girlfriend. It was not. That wasn't planned. That'd be sick if that was planned. But it happened. Yeah. What? I finally treated him the way that he was treating me, and he didn't like it. Like, the one time I decided to be savage like him, and it ended with me being homeless. Okay. So... <laughs> he's... And that's something everybody knows. I hope so. <laughs> I mean, they have a million videos about it. I got an idea. I'm gonna steal you from Jake. Oh. I, think I just always assumed it was a joke, cause like, what brother would fuck their brother's ex? That doesn't even make any sense. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't. Like, stole my brother's girl, <laughs> and you're gonna be my thumbnail. Is that something I shouldn't bring up? Like, what was his reaction to that? Oh, not good. No, not good. No, he was. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know if that is something you should bring up. That is a very, yeah. Stephen Horsford's got That's a problem crazy. paying his bills, but Horsford's got no problem making you pay more, voting for higher sales taxes and payroll taxes. Stephen Horsford's got a problem paying his bills, but no problem making you pay more. How is this not more talked about? I'm so confused. How, was this a thing? I've, I've lost a uh, complete track of like what is public and what isn't. It's ma mainly why I don't talk about things. Yeah. Because I don't know what people know and what people don't know anymore. So I'm a, I'm pretty sure it's public knowledge. But with anything on the internet, a couple of weeks later it's no one gives a fuck anymore. But like in real life. In real life, yeah. Like, it, like for Jake, that's like... <laughs> yeah, Logan Paul is such garbage. God. When was that? When did that happen? Chat, I don't know if you know, or if you're watching the replay on YouTube. Like, when did that happen? Was that around the same time that Logan did the suicide forest? Or like, man, I don't know. That is... Man, that's crazy. That's nuts. I to talk to him about that. Like, how did you deal with that emotionally, mentally? Well, what does that say about his relationship with his brother? Yeah, that's interesting too. The funny thing about this is that this, like, we're not using the condoms in the scene. He does a whole thing too, like in his draw my life, like my, our parents made us really competitive, and like then he does that. It's like, did you want to make a baby? And this is like the videos that he makes, like, and Logan's, Logan's audience is super young, like, Logan is, I don't know, I don't watch that much Jake either, but man, these guys are both garbage. Oh my god. Ah! Ah, oh, like, okay, so I made a video about, like, Logan's response to Shane, the Dear Shane uh, Dawson video, and, like, I made a video about it, and, like, oh my god. Like, a lot of people said... Thank you uh, for making this video so I didn't have to watch the Logan Paul one. And it's like, geez, like, this stuff just hurts me. The whole family, the whole family is fucked. So I, and I'm sure if Shane did a documentary on Logan Paul, that would look fucked too. Like, you know what I mean? Like, maybe, may, I don't know, maybe Jake, like, stole Logan's, like, middle school girlfriend or some bullshit. But, like, this stuff, all this sexual stuff, and they know that they're... Audience is super, super young. I don't know, man. Like, my audience, my audience is mostly, I don't know, mostly adult age, 18 plus, 18, 24. I think that's my primary de demographic. Some younger, some older and stuff. But I, I always keep that in mind. I always try to keep that in mind when I'm making content, too. Um, damn. But I'm not also not making jackassery content uh, every day, bro. You what? Stop. Yo, chill. Hey, whoa, you need to calm down. Then I'm gonna cut the camera and we'll see what happens. <laughs> they don't know. Does he not know where the line is as far as like. You should pierce your nipples, right? Like yours? No one knows that. Oh, uh, well, my whole vlog does now. <laughs> you know, one upping him? I mean, what's that about? It got, for me, 
scary at one point because they kept one upping each other. Now she in the low gang and you know she on my team. And I was just like, when is this gonna stop? There was a moment there when I was like, what is going on right now? I, I was worried that they were just gonna destroy each other. If you think something's gonna happen, predict it before it happens because then it makes them look dumb when it happens. Look like dumb? What? Did I say something? Did I... Wait, look. Hang it, I, I dropped out of high school, I don't know. What I think I'm most nervous about is sitting down with him and like having him be 100% honest and like not bullshit with me. See, that's gonna be interesting <laughs> because he he's open with the people that he's close to, but very, I, I've not seen him let in a stranger ever in my life. So if he opens up to you, that'll be interesting. Is there things I should not say or things I should you know I think if you're gonna do it it should be just you and him he shouldn't be influenced or be worried about anyone else listening because uh, then he's not gonna be 100% himself right. he's, if it's just you two and you're you're like how you always are you're very open and honest and you make people feel comfortable he'll probably hopefully open up to you and just explain his feelings and how he's feeling mm. like Okay, Being like upset already. about something is not showing weakness. Mm -hmm. You're a human being, you should show that. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that might be the mistake where people are call him a, calling him a sociopath because he likes to hide his feelings because that might show weakness. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's not able to feel. Mm -hmm. um, but who knows? I'm so interested to watch this and just see what you do with him, like what you talk about and what he's. Mm, hold on, I'm writing down a note. Like what I'm writing down is like I don't know, like Shane's just figuring out like. I don't know, maybe he went a little overboard with the whole sociopath thing, but I but I don't know, like, now when you see this thing as a whole, it kind of makes sense. Like, you get locked in this view, like, he had this very narrow scope. Like, the only things Shane knew about Jake was, you know, Jake looks like he's a sociopath. I was going to do stuff on sociopaths. Jake looks like a sociopath. Boom, let's do this. But now he's kind of realizing, as he gets further along, like, Jake's just a human. He's kind of a douchebag human, right? A lot of, like, it looks like the whole Paul family is pretty douchey. But, like, I think that's what Shane's learning through this process. It's like, Jake is just a person. He's a human. He reacts, he responds in certain ways and stuff. Like, he's just human. And maybe if nothing else, I don't know, maybe if nothing else, this series is kind of like opening up the eyes to people. And I know how many people are resistant to sympathizing with Jake Paul. Like, again... I, I don't sympathize with him. I empathize with him. I made a whole video about how, like, no matter what's happening, it doesn't give you an excuse to be, like, an idiot. You know what I mean? Like, even if the pranks against the people in the house were fake and all this other type of stuff, like, the content he makes for kids and stuff, like the Nerd City video, like, all that stuff is still, you know, like, what, what, like, what? So, I don't know. I don't know. That's something interesting. That might be in, like, the video I make to recap the series. I don't know. He says, and if he'll talk to me again. Um, his girlfriend, Erica. Yeah. Thoughts on that? <sighs> Erica's probably one of the best things that's, in my opinion, happened to Jake. Like, that's not one of those fake, there's not, I just like them together. I think they, they both have the same work ethic they both work around the clock and Erica will tell Jake how it is, which I don't think he's had that from girls before. Mm. You're the boy and I'm the girl, carry me. Yep. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, if she's not happy with him, she'll let him know. Yes, we are fighting. Multiple reasons. Like, is she kind of like, dude, you fucked up? Or like, dude, shut up. Like, is she kind of like, real with him in that way? Yeah. I got your shoe. Here. Thank you. You're a dick. Um, so I, I think them being together is a good thing.
Seri seriously? <laughs> she fucking locked me out. <laughs> Lots of this. I'm, I'm conflicted. I might have to meditate after this. Why can't she just love me? Jake. Love me. They're gonna think we just like tried to make him sound great. <laughs> I feel like that's all they're gonna think about. I mean, because I definitely want to grill him on everything, but like, what's left? Because there's also clips, like there's a whole compilation, like of, you know, Jake Paul like bullying Tessa Brooks and Jake Paul bullying the Martinez. And I guess half of it falls under pranks, which they might know about. But then there's other ones where he's like calling Tessa's laugh, like, "Oh, you sound like a walrus." <laughs> I thought that was- are you good? Cause you laugh like a walrus all the time. It's annoying. So like a lot of these like one-off comments that are just like shitty things. That if I heard someone say that, I would be like, oh, that's a pretty shitty person. Like, <laughs> uh, like maybe they're not the worst, but like, oh, they're definitely shitty. And all the Alyssa stuff too, if half of what she said was true, it's like- Andrew, you know, drop us some insight. Person. I'm being serious, don't- I mean, that's what it might boil down to, is he might just- kind of be a shitty person. You just want me to look bad on camera? Is that what you want? But, I have hope. Should I not have hope? Am I going into this too hopeful? No, I have hope. So, <laughs> I don't think it's a bad thing to have hope. Man, I think we might just be disappointed. A lot of people think, Shane, you should not be Yeah, doing yeah, I was thinking that too, Pickle. Platform. This is- yeah, Pickle, uh, Pickle was saying, for any of you not watching, he says, will not you just uh, talk about needing a tough love person? Yeah, it looks like Erica is one of those people that I talk about where someone who's who tells you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. And that's good. Like, that's what my girlfriend does. She tells me shit that I need to hear, not what I want to hear. Wrong. A lot of people think, Shane, you should not be doing this because you shouldn't be giving Jake Paul a platform. This is wrong. I see why they think that. Do you think that? Do you think this is might be a bad idea? No, because I think it's important for people to understand. By the way, hold on, I gotta pause this. Like, was Shane's tweet last night about like, oh, I'm I'm spilling all the tea. Ah, uh, like this was not that like tea filled. Like, I think the biggest one was that the Martinez twins were full of crap. Um, they still didn't really dive into like what happened with Alyssa. You know what I mean? Um, but like, there wasn't anything crazy in this. Like, I don't know, like. Jake like has like dog fights or something. I don't know. Understand the why to the what, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, Jake Paul did this and he did this. No one's ever stopped and said, oh, I wonder why he jumped on a news van. Or I wonder why this or that, or why he set the pool on fire. But this doesn't work if he's not honest. Like if he sits there and he has a rehearsed thing and he's just doing this to try and save himself, then that's fucked up. Mm -hmm. If he's gonna do this and he's gonna be real, then I think people should give him a chance. For me, if, if I was in his position, I went to bed at night and I knew a lot of the world just thought I was an evil. Prick. I wonder, I wonder if, um, if Shane recorded this, I wonder if Shane see the, seen the Nerd City video. You know what I mean? Like that, that could be a whole episode. Like. Did Shane see the Nerd City video? You know, so. I won't be able to sleep. Hey Shane, so I just saw your text and I think it would be good for me to kind of just tell my side of the story. Um, I've been through a lot and everyone's kind of been like slut shaming me and calling me a whore and calling me all these names, but they have no idea like what really went on back then. Um, I'm super, super scared and I've always been scared, but if you think I should, then frick it. Let's do it, man. Frick it. If I bring Katie, the therapist, with us, and she's there the whole time, I don't think he's going to be like himself. I don't think he's going to be comfortable. I think he's going to be kind of fake. So I can't. <laughs> and it sounds really shady. And I've never done anything like this before. The plan is 
I'm gonna have Katie, the therapist, pretend to be our producer. What? She has like 400,000 subscribers! At the time they filmed it, she had 400,000! Like, what? What? Oh god, oh no, this is the worst thing ever! Oh my god, oh, and you thought, oh, ah, oh no, they're gonna have like, like if you thought the pushback was bad on episode two, wait until this shit. Oh my god. And she's going to be with us the whole day, watching, listening, analyzing Jake's body language, seeing what he's like when the camera turns off, and then throughout the day, She's gonna kind of take me in another room. So Jake will have no idea, and then we'll go into the other room, and I'll just be like, "How's it going? What do you think?" Well, first of all, let me oh say this. Oh my god! Jake specifically has told me over and over and over again, like literally, whatever you want to do, Shane. Like, I trust you. I just want this whole thing to be real. Uh, so I feel like he would be okay, right? I'm gonna tell him afterward, and yeah. if he's not comfortable with it, I won't upload it. So, ooh, I feel dirty. I feel like this is like. Yeah. Oh I my know. god. This was like oh. a secret. Because the whole time he's gonna think like, oh, house tour, like, oh this is fun, like, oh we're just doing a house tour. <sighs> Cut to like a therapist like watching. Oh my god. Like oh my god. This is this is definitely like new territory for us. <laughs> like Do you want me to just record as much as I can? Or like what? We're gonna like sneak off into a room with Ooh, her. Oh, I just got like. So... <laughs> Ooh, I just got like sick. Ah, oh, you mean like okay? I mean, so at the end of the day, right? And they're gonna be aware of the fact that if the camera's rolling, anything that they let slip is gonna come back and bite them in the ass. If there's a camera, you know, in his face and we're talking, he still won't be able to turn off and be a real person. Like maybe he'll still, I don't know, just be too aware of it. Like, what do you think I should do? Should I... Well, I'm not suggesting out? putting a secret camera. If that's what you're trying to get on me just then. Oh, no. But, I mean, I can, you know... I mean, Listen, how, I just, I mean, like, I'm not telling you this? to not... Like that? I'm not telling you to secretly record him. <laughs> but what I'm telling you is, it was a, a camera error and it just kept recording. We didn't even know, Jake. Like, we look back at the footage and we're like, oh my god, we were recording the whole time? <laughs> I'm so conflicted yeah, now. We can't do that. Okay, thanks, Shane. Uh, that would actually be wrong. We literally can't do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll practice. I'm pretty good at doing that. I've done that to you a couple times. So it'll be like this. Yeah. Oh my god, Jake. Ha ha. Nice G Wagon. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll cut for a second while we. Yeah, yeah, let's cut for a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. So, Jake, <laughs> your whole relationship with Eric, it's fake, right? Yeah, it's fake. Mm. Yeah. That's crazy. You killed him before? <laughs> Do people know that? Oh my god. The camera? Oh no, that's not on. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> if his dad's there and we're doing that, what if we do that and then the dad's like, hey, hey, you. Oh my god. What if Logan and the dad are there? I'm so conflicted by the ending of this. I'm so conflicted. I don't even know if I should make a video about that because that speculation, like, there's no way they do that, right? Katie would not do that. Wait, you still going to yeah. Wait, why? What are you going to do? Do you trust me? Um... Do you trust me? <laughs> I trust you, Shane. Yeah. We trust each That's other. That's why I'm let, like, you... I have to trust you, you know? Because you're just filming everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So, that's the end of that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to upload this right now, but I'm going to keep recording for a second. Like, if any of you have suggestions on what I should make videos about, I have my trusty notebook, but, like, I don't know. Now I'm conflicted. Like, should I make a video about that being super unethical? Like, if Katie Morton, like, secretly, like, tries to, like, get a diagnosis of somebody? Like, you can't, you can't do that. Like, she... 
Like that's crazy. And that's like what's just stuck in my mind right now. I don't know. I don't know, man. I I might do a video on it. I just have to, I would have to word it properly. Cause I, I, I just, I cannot see like, and maybe this is, um, this is some kind of like bias I have. Cause I, I, I love and respect Katie and I just don't think that she would do something like that. I just do not think, but maybe I should quit talking and just put that in a video. I don't know. I don't know, man. But, um, yeah, I have a few topics. I have a few topics in my good old notebook. So make sure you are subscribed, ring the notification bell. I am doing two or three videos on this episode for sure. At least two, maybe three, maybe three. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts about it down in the comments below. All right. I thought this was a pretty slow, um, one, but, uh, but yeah, you get what you get. All right. Upload it now. I will see you guys really soon. Subscribe, notification bell, click on some of these links over here. All right. Love you. Bye.